Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 siege for you today and this one is an interesting one, we'll put it like that, it is a very interesting one, as you can see here we have some Scartha Shadows which are from the Empire and uh, Empire Divided um, like DLC that you have uh, which is uh, obviously adds like Caledonia which is like the Scottish faction and they have these Scartha Shadows and as you can see there's a big old Sally going on, we have, it's a no rules uh, game apparently um, so it's going to make some interesting factions, so obviously you can see we've got like um, DLC factions being used. You can see this is like the um, I think it's like the El Eloli or something like that. I'm pretty sure they're like uh, the Sardinian faction in uh, Rise of Republic. So they also have like an entirely like uh, guerrilla army. So they've got like a lot of uh, like sh units. So you've got like the Sheridan Swordsmen. These units look awesome by the way. I mean like look at th these guys look very like uh, almost mythological I guess in like how they are, like have their armor. So yeah we've got lots of uh, units here. You can obviously see that, uh, like, Caledonia is, um, joining a Lolli in this, uh, like, sally over here. We have Rome, uh, which is, uh, looking like they're gonna get ready to sally out as well, by the looks of it. And then over, and then over here, we have the Sassanids. <laughs> With so many elephants. So many elephants. And they also have cataphracts, which is equally as scary. So they're gonna be able to do some decent stuff. These are pretty good cataphracts. These are really good elephants. So yeah, we're going to see um, some interesting uh, some interesting tactics here. And then the poor attackers, I f I'm calling them the poor attackers because they're kind of keeping to the rules. Um, they're pl playing like a standard uh, siege army almost, like four archers, um, like so many pikes. Um, and like, yeah, and then artillery and stuff like that. Apart from possibly like Gallic Rome who's playing like a, a DLC faction, everyone else is playing main campaign sort of factions. Um, so yeah, we could see some interesting stuff going on here, and it looks like Kush is going to be taken out first, or try to be taken out first, and with their armor piercing or lack of it, they won't be able to really fight Caledonia and um, the Alolai here. But anyway, we will unpause it, and we will uh, we will see what happens. I'll actually just say before we uh, before we start, if you're enjoying seeing Rome 2 at the moment and would like to see some more um, epic sieges or interesting ones like this one, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And feel free to join the Discord, which is where you can send me replays or you can take part in uh, battles that they may uh, like feature on the channel. Um, but yeah, there we go. We'll unpause. And you can see uh, Kush is already firing off his Kushite archers. And uh, yeah, they're in for a bit of a shock when they see all of this appear. I mean, Kush also doesn't realize that there's a whole horde coming around this flank here. So he might be in a bit of trouble. He's about to get 2v1. I mean, you can see like all the uh, Showtel warriors desperately trying to get off the wall. A bit of a shame that the uh, foliage is here. We'll get rid of the foliage. As you can see, the first clash of infantry going in. So yeah, there you go. They have clashed, and you can see Caledonia is also joining in the fight. They need to go through like these gaps here. Um, they're like Kush is leaving open. I mean, there are obviously show tells and stuff. I mean, there is a huge gap here anyway. There's a big flank going on. You can see that the Nervi is quickly sending cavalry in that direction, as is like Gallic Rome sending stuff. It looks like uh, I would say that. Per Personally, that like Rome and like the Caledonians have got to like def make a flank here and get ready to defend against. Uh, well, it's going to be the Nervii first. But yeah, here you go. You can see that they're uh, sitting around their heavy Nuragic. Neur uh, what are these runners against uh, the armored Shotels here? And in they go. So yeah, these guys are in for a rough time. I don't know how good these are uh, like. These, uh, like, Neura, Neuragak, so, oh my gosh, I just realized, let's uh, just pause it quickly. I don't, just gonna have to pause it really quickly. Look at their weapon. Their weapon is just, like, on their hand. It's like a, like a fist with spikes on it. I didn't even realize that. Um, so that's like, they're just, like, really brutal boxes. They're like boxes that, like, have, like, leaded, uh, like, gloves, but instead they have spikes on their gloves instead. So uh, you can see here we have some like Kushite pikes that are trying to defend, but there's just so many uh, Elolai troops here. They're not going to stop everything with these pikes. They've got disciples at Atapenmak, really chevroned up by the way. Um, don't know how good they're going to do against these Sherdan swordsmen. We'll see. Uh, we've got more archers coming up over here in the general cav. Um, yeah, let's have a look and see how well these uh, units are doing then. Shotels are actually losing decisively. I like the basic show towards Armour Shotel are actually losing as well. That is a concern. That's a real concern. And you can see that uh, Gallic Roman said in his cavalry, he's got his Equite Scutiari in here. Uh, running, trying to run down these uh, elite Highland archers, which is doing quite well. You can now see there's the Praetorian cavalry up here and uh, some Sokia Extra Extraordinary. 
You can see all the Medi and Cavs now coming in as well. And they're trying to go after all these archers. They're going to get a good charge here. Brace, men, brace! And in they go. The Praetorians are trying to set off as well. There's more elephants. The Romans brought elephants as well. Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to cause havoc. In go the elephants. Oh my god. This is going to be a chaotic battle. This is insane. I'm... I do love these no rules battles, I've just realized. Um, yeah, Median Cavalry losing decisively. No surprise, getting run down by uh, elephants. They need to get some archers up. Oh, they're actually gonna fire artillery. They just don't care about their own uh, cavalry. I guess not, he's gonna die probably. Um, you can see that the uh, Scarf of Shadows here breaking, trying to fight these uh, Imperial Bodyguard. But this Imperial Bodyguards have been pretty beaten up. Um, so that's a good sign. They're trying to then break uh, like Gallic Chrome. You can see that this uh, Noble Horse here is gonna get a nice charge once the elite Highland Archers, they have not been well protected this game. Uh, Caledonia has not protected his archers one bit. You see Rome's now trying to hold them in place. You get these archers back, they could be useful. Could be very useful. Um, you can see that Sassanus is just about arriving on the on the field. It's actually not like, this is apparently an 80 man unit. I can confirm that it's not 80 men. Um, so they're clearly like still struggling to get out the gate. Uh, over here though, you can see that, well, I don't know, it's pretty even. It's pretty even. Shota Warriors losing here though. Maybe they're not having a fun time. And these Scatter Shadows are just going to scream the entire battle. Because that's all they can do. Because that's what CA thinks all women warriors do. Just scream constantly. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's still, still looking okay. I mean, these Lolli troops here are getting rear charged. That's never a good sign. Yeah, by this uh, Kushite Royal Guard. That's not so good. Over on this side, they seem to be doing okay. Disciples of Adepen Mac losing decisively, actually, though. That's not a good sign. I mean, DLC fa uh, you factions usually are stronger than uh, base game. So it's kind of a bit... I'm surprised that more of them didn't bring DLC factions. But maybe they couldn't. Maybe they just couldn't bring more DLC factions. Like, they didn't have them. Uh, but some people don't. Some people don't have all, like, the... Uh, the DLC campaign factions. You can see these uh, pikes here trying to reorganize. They're now going to probably get rear charged by a general here or by these archers, these noble Sardi archers. Yeah, these guys are probably... Let's uh, see how good these guys look. But if they're nobles, they're nobles, but they barely like have any armor. They look quite funny. They're going to be uh, shooting into the back of those pikes. That pike unit there is breaking, and it's 120 men dropping quickly. That is a bad sign. Uh, I think this cavalry here unit is just ping-ponging off everything. They're going to clear up the uh, like the uh, Sardinians here, or the Alolai. They've got a lot of war dogs, I just realized. Have they released the war dogs yet? They have not released the war dogs. Oh, that'll be funny to see. Elephants, uh, they're going berserk. No surprise, they, they've probably got a lot of kills. Let's see how many kills they've got. 196, not bad for that elephant unit. Uh, over here, on this side, you can now see that the uh, assassins have arrived. Uh, and Seleucid's got the job of stopping them with his infantry. Look at these brave men. You've got to stop elephants, men. You've got to stop elephants. God help you. Or the, let, or the gods help you. They've got to stop elephants and cataphracts. These are good cataphracts. And it's going to go straight for their artillery. Smart idea. Um, if Honestly, I if I was the Seleucids, I'd just put like one or two units. Oh my god, look at all the like the horses running. They've like, got no riders now. I put like one or two units onto the like there onto the wall and just rush for the point just for the jokes. Um, but there, oh, what's happened over there? There's something that's happened here. Uh, I don't know if they've just lost a general or something. Oh yeah, I think yeah. Okay, so yeah, the Caledonians have lost their general recently. It was a general uh, heroic ride. He's got focused down by archers. I don't know why they haven't sent their cavalry off into all this blob of archers here. There's so many to kill. Oh my god, and these Sokia extraordinary trying to rear charge this Oswan. I mean, they successfully did it, but they're getting chopped up and shot to pieces. Absolute chaos. More cavalry coming in now. This is the Praetorian cavalry. This is going to go into the archers. No one's really protected their archers very well in this game. There you go. They're getting run down. Excellent, excellent. I mean, I'm calling this a siege, but it's really not. It's just a pitch battle. Over here, you can see that the Cafrax 
got rid of the uh, artillery. They've actually already gone into... Uh, they just charged straight on into these uh, Silver Shield Pikes. Didn't have their Pikes down, actually. So that's a huge win there for the Cataphracts. Look at their armor. Just would not want to face these guys. Would not want to face them. Uh, more Cataphracts over here. Have they got the other Pike unit down? They actually haven't even got this Pike... Uh, this is a bad move here by Sluzid. I don't know if he's not realized or something. Oh, this is going to be a nice charge into the flank of this Silver Shield Sword. Oh my god, these poor calf oh, poor swords, I should say. Not poor Cafrax. The Cafrax are not poor at all. They are having a lovely time running down this uh, Silver Shield Sword. I mean, not lost many men yet, but when they get up, they'll start to drop. Now they can probably just start freely recharging. I mean, there's a gap here in the line now. Uh, the uh, Cataphracts actually did break there. Did they get their pikes down? No, they didn't. They still broke. They should pull their uh, cavalry out a bit quicker. They are sending elephants back this way. These guys are exhausted already. or they're very tired. Um, gotta be careful when you're using elephants. They are almost like a shock unit. Gotta be slow and steady with them. These guys are tired, very tired. But they should be able to mop up most of this uh, stuff here. Yeah, the Cataphracts here. Having a bit of a rough time. Lost one. Charging into all this infantry is probably not a great idea. They probably want the in, like needed some infantry to pin it down, and then the Cataphracts would be more effective. But the Cataphracts would be so useful over here right now. Well, watch the Romans as they fight on in here. I mean, the Romans should do okay. They should like they'll mop up a lot of these Oast one, you imagine. Uh, it's like the uh, Gallic, em uh, Gallic Rome I'm a bit worried about. They've got really strong units like these uh, Gallic Imperial Guard. Which are really, really strong. I mean, they're blobbing them up though here. They've got the War Dogs in there. It's nice to see. Uh, obviously, you can see that uh, the Alolai is beating Kush on this side. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's a really good sign. Now they can flank around what remains of Kush and also then threaten this flank here. So, I mean, it's looking pretty good for the uh, for the defenders slash attackers at this point. See the uh, Alolai are getting ready. They're going to send in their units into the back of these uh, armor Hotel. Game focused down by uh, Kushite Royal Archers. Oh no, just Kushite Archers. Um, but they're going to send some Malolai. They can silence these guys pretty quickly. They've got a lot of archers of their own. They need to like, start rear firing a lot of like, these armored Shotels here. Or the uh, Gallic Imperial Guard, which actually is losing. Uh, one of them is. That one is. The more healthy one's losing. Okay, interesting. These uh, archers, they just need to run away. Don't, get, don't let yourself get silenced by these swords. But they're going to get silenced by these swords. There you go. Gonna get chopped down. Yep, yeah, that's unfortunate. They are gone. Let's see how the elephants are doing. Are they in combat? They are in combat. Oh boy. Are the elephants in combat? Surely none of these are winning. Like, yeah. I mean, some of bikes are winning, actually. They're facing the, down the elephants quite effectively. They do need to get like a rear charge with the cavalry. This is where the cavalry needs to get involved. You just rear charge these pikes. You rip them to shreds. They're going to charge their cavalry straight into this uh, silver shield here, which is in... Oh, look at that horrible texture there. Um, that is in combat. Yeah, there you go. Oh, let's just get away from that horrible texture. Uh, I mean, I'd send elephants in. I don't know why it's lagging. Maybe just because the amount of people dying. I don't know. Don't know why that happened. Just had a lag spike for some random reason. Um, these silver shield short swords should just be like finished off by uh, an elephant. Just send the general elephant in. I mean, they still have so many free elephants. They're going to now send over to the far side. And they've actually got elephants out the front as well now. Oh, they actually have landed stuff on the inside. Okay, so yeah, this is why they sent some elephants in. So they actually did what I suggest they should do. And they're going to just rush for the point. They have some elephants that are now dedicated just to like finish these guys off. They got some uh, Praetorians here as well that they probably want to try and uh, stop. Got their got the uh, Roman elephants back inside as well. So I mean they are just mopping up like Oast and everywhere. They need to stop this uh, Gallic Imperial Guard here. Ooh, 
look at this. Imagine like coming off the tower and you just see an elephant waiting for you. You'd be like, nah, I'm tripping here. Like, there is no way there is an elephant on the wall waiting for me. But yes, there is. There is an elephant on the wall waiting. And just gunning down and killing so many shield bearers in Gallic Imperial Guard. Oh my gosh. They haven't even lost a single unit, I don't think, yet. No, there's... Oh, no, they've lost a few. They've uh, killed about 120 men. They're doing quite well. These guys are getting uh, shot up, though. They need to probably go science these uh, archers, send them some, like, cavalry in this direction. Uh, I don't know, but they, yeah, they said they're running back now. So they want to deal with this Imperial Guard, and I feel sorry for this unit of Imperial Guard. They are in trouble. They are in serious trouble. The enemy? What are they? Goats and little girls. No, they are not goats and little girls, the enemy. They're elephants. They're really scary elephants, sir. You fool, why did you have to say they're goats and girls? They're not goats and girls. They're elephants. Oh, they killed one on the charge. And now they get killed. Now this unit dies. I mean, they've all gone berserk, in fairness. They sent all the elephants berserk, but they're going berserk on their own men. On, like, themselves. Like, these elephants. The elephants only got to go berserk on these guys here, and they're going to kill them very easily. Uh, yeah, they've already, like, lost a lot of men. So, yeah, I mean, it actually looks like, I think, the field battle... I don't know who it's going to be won by. Rome's lost his entire army. I decided to put that out there. Rome has lost his entire army. Uh, Scartha, uh, like, I'm calling them Scartha Chariots. The Caledonians and, uh, like, the Alolai have kind of kept hold of most of their army. Uh, it looks like Gallic Rome, has he lost his general? No, he's not lost his general just yet, but he's about to die. He's getting mopped up in there by, uh, uh, Scut uh not Scutiari, by, uh, Cataphracts. Um, so, it's kind of just a nerve I left in Seleucids. They're just mopping up these uh, Baelix things. I mean, they've got a few units of uh, swords here, but how effective will it be with no general? I don't know. Has he just brought a Gallic Imperial Guard? He has. He's just brought a load of Gallic Imperial Guard. And there you go. You can see the Seleucids have been murdered. So now the elephants are going back inside, I think, because they feel it's safer to be in there. Probably not the worst decision in the world. See, Rome's got, like, his one Praetorian unit here. And that's it. That is it. I mean, the Alolai could probably finish off uh, Nervii at this point. And the Cataphracts now charging into the general down here. Trying to murder these men. The Cataphracts look awesome uh, in this period. Really do. And they're breaking, though. They may be awesome, but they're breaking. Uh, we've got more elephants down here, causing causing absolute panic. Just killing a uh, Imperial Guard here and there. I mean, they've got a few units left to kill. I mean, this Imperial Guard here, it will eventually die because it's going to get surrounded by stuff. Like, it can be really elite and stuff, but you will die. Let's also put foliage back on. Let's have like most of the fights finished in here. I say that, they're not actually getting surrounded. They like could do with some archers to focus this unit down. But uh, yeah, most of the fighting outside the walls has finished. You can see, look at the bodies. Look at the bodies. It's an absolute massacre. They've done a really good job with the defenders. I don't know if they've got enough though. The elephants, unsupported without enough infantry, might not be able to do it. Like they could do with some of these elephants, just slamming them into these Imperial Guard break these guys quickly. If they can kill the Seleucid general, then they can probably break most of this stuff as well. They need to get Nervii's general. I don't know if... That, yeah, his uh, general is still alive. Taking a lot of casualties, but he is very much alive. Okay, Galagrome does not just have a, a, a Imperial Guard. He has a lot of Longsword Cohort and Pikes, which are now appearing out of the woods. I think he's trying to shoot these elephants with his uh, Roman Ballista. He's missed every shot so far. Don't know where that one's going either. That one's going to hit his own Nervii troops. Or ally. Yeah, that one just hit his own Nervii troops. Oh, oh, dear. But here we go. Elephants coming in. In they go after the Oathsworn. That was a nice charge by the elephants. These poor, poor Oathsworn. I mean, they're just going to get murdered. They do worse than anyone else. Yeah, look at this chain route going on. 
I don't know if they just lost their general. No. Their general is in combat. These elephants might just go berserk, but that's fine. Like, there's so many enemies around them. Wouldn't really matter. Uh, they are getting shot down to pieces here, though, armored elephants. That's a real shame. Uh, what have we got here? Shield bearers there losing to the Praetorians. Don't exactly know what's holding back the attackers here. Very little is the answer. Uh, they've got more elephants in here, though. Thank God. They can hold the line with elephants. They're going to have to. Here they come. All of them. One by one. Getting back inside the walls. But, I mean, they need to... They should have killed these archers off. Like, I mean, they needed to kill these archers in the field battle. They was, like, going to be the only issue to st stopping these elephants from winning. Look at these poor O-Sworn. Like, get away from them! Get away! No, we run you down! We kill you all! Oh my gosh. Absolute massacre. Have they still not lost their general, the Novi? I have no idea. Uh, they could do with getting these archers back, shooting some units. I mean, there's just an Oathsworn unit here that's just trying to burn the wall, like, burn the gate. They've literally got ways in. They literally have, like, access points. Uh, I've been killing these two cohort units off, or, uh, Guard Imperial, sorry. They're kind of dragging, like, they're coming away from the archers. They're not going to have much support from the archers. Here you go. Elephants going in. Knocking them down. You may be good, but you're not quite elephant proof. There you go. They've broken one. They can go into the next. They're going to try and stand firm. Look at them. Stand firm, men. This won't be enough. They're getting focused down by Syrian archers, though. See the arrows bouncing off their armor. And they'll break that unit, and then they could go into the archers. That's next. Um, really? It's, do they do that? I mean, that's the question. There's still more archers after that, though. That's the thing. Gallic Hunters. Uh, I mean, it's a small unit. See that they have, like, a small force over here ready. I, and it is all hidden. There's still some elephants alive as well. Jeez. Outside the walls. Nuts. Nuts. But they are into the archers now. I mean, it'd be better sending their legacy all the way around, trying to flank stuff. Trying to flank and kill these archers, for instance. Yeah, all these archers are now in combat, and they're silenced. And now the elephants, I'd say, are probably in a really good position now, because they have, like, no enemy archers. Thing is, though, will they be able to kill all these Gallic Romans? I'm not sure. It's going to be hard to tell. Very hard to tell. You can see Sluice is now chain routing. Certainly on that flank, he's chain routing. Still holding here. These Praetorians, uh, they are losing. They are, in fact, losing. Praetorians holding the line, though. They'll fight to the last man for their emperor. I mean, they're going to get rear charged at the moment at those guys by uh, elephants, you imagine. Or by the Roman general. It'll be one or the other. I mean, they need to just try and kill all this off, and then they can face Gallic Rome as he comes up the walls. Like, they could just do the same that they did to, uh, like, Seleucids and that. They could just fight them at the walls. These pikemen look quite nice, actually, with their uh, circular shields. I do like a good circular shield. Where are the elephants, then? Where are the elephants? They're killing stuff over here. Are they trying to then go out the wall? Uh, out the gate, sorry. So they can then just go and rear charge everything? I don't know. They are rear charging stuff now. You see the uh, elephants going in here. They're trying to break these uh, guys up. Kill them all. Kill all the... Uh, Cowardly sluices. I was to kill the elephants, but we want the elephants to survive. If you don't want the elephants to survive, then you're just uh, a hater of wildlife. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can see we have the uh, we have the noble Sardi archers here, getting ready. They're going to be uh, firing to the rear of all these units. That's a very good idea, to be fair. And you can get these uh, tiny little so units of the uh, scarf of shadows as well. Get them back onto the wall. Uh, start stabbing up some uh, guard imperial that are just defending. At the bottom. Oh, I thought they were defending. 
Is anyone tasked with the job of defending the bottom of the towers? Possibly not. You can see they're already breaking in here though are the Guard Imperial. These elephants might be enough, there's still quite a few of them. The pikes are in there, I mean the pikes are killing quite a few you can see. The pikes are going to be the uh, the hidden weapon, the secret weapon that the uh, Gallic Romans are going to need. They need to surround this uh, pike unit with Praetorians, get these Praetorians in here. These pikes are trying to constantly reset up. You can hear that the... Uh, the Scar the Shadows are going to go in there and they're going to try and murder these poor uh, Gallic Imperial Guard. Look at them. And they're going to throw Javis into the back of them. Oh my gosh. Imagine just trying to get up the wall. You're like, they're just trying to get up. Like, ow! What's that painful thing that's stabbing me in the back? Because it just lags for some reason. Why is it? I'm not sure why it's lagging. Uh, there's literally no one left alive. Just a few elephants. Yeah, they're just jabbing into the back of these poor Romans. I think Scarth and Shadows have quite a lot of Javis. I mean, they've managed to miss quite a lot. You can see all the, like, the Javis in the, in the side. I don't think they killed many of these Romans because they're putting their shields on their back. Seleucid General now in there. He's exhausted. These Romans are combat even, which is always a bad sign. But their general is dead. They're just going to hope that Gallic Rome at some point just chain routes. They have to just hope he chain routes. What have we got here? We've got more pikes setting up, I think. I think I saw pikes coming up. Yeah, there's pikemen here. They're just coming up in dribs and drabs, so that's the thing. They're coming up in dribs and drabs. Elephants in here. They're still struggling to break through. The Romans are starting to, like, get a decent amount of men here to slow these guys down. But they're still losing in some areas. Elephants can do with charging again. Chain, a bit, I was about to say chain route, but that's actually the rope. That's their Praetorians. There is a bit of a chain route going on, but not like anything massive. Gallic Imperial Guard looked like they were going to break at one point, but they changed their mind. See, the uh, Scar of the Shadows are now up onto the wall. Now they're ha having to turn around. That might help break uh, some of these units now that they're being thrown from a rear, as well as uh, like by the elephants in the front. See, the pikemen are starting to break now. That's a huge loss they lose them, Gallic Rome. Uh, you can see the general of like Rome just constantly going in. It's going to be an insanely close one. You can see the uh, fire is now going in. They're trying to break these guys. That's a bit risky because they could obviously... I don't know if they could like scare your own elephants. But uh, yeah, fire is coming in trying to just do damage to the morale here. It'll be interesting to see whether friendly fire arrows can do that. Uh, it seems not. It seems like flaming arrows will... Oh no, maybe it will. Yeah, flaming arrow, flaming shot. Uh does like damage to them and there you go a massive chain route by uh, Gallic Rome and that is going to be it they just can't deal with the Scar the Shadows in the back and also the, uh, the uh, elephants at the front and there you go that is the uh, the enemy defeated and that is a costly victory for the uh, for the Caledonians and their allies and then we'll end the replay and we can have a look at the end results but that was a really really uh, like fun battle to watch and yeah this was sent in uh, by Coops, who's playing as uh, the Caledonians here, and uh, yeah, all these uh, attack, all these defenders. I should really call them attackers because they did actually attack instead of hide behind their walls. They are actually all members of the uh, Discord. So thank you for uh, sending this one in, and uh, congratulations to you guys. You did a really good job. But yeah, we'll have a quick look at Coops' army here. His general got focused down and killed, only getting 43 kills, really unfortunate. His archers did okay, getting 145, 149. It is some pretty do uh, good. Uh, damage. I mean, some of them did not get much protection, so did not get many kills. His uh, and then he just spammed out Scar the Shadows. Uh, I mean, they didn't get like anything amazing. 171, I think, is the best one. Um, but yeah, they did pretty well, and they're just like able to hide and like cause like damage in like guerrilla fights and stuff like that. They're just you're always worrying where they are. So they did really, really good. Uh, then we have Ranjin Squirrel, who's playing as the Alolai. His uh, his general here getting 116 kills. His archer's getting 115, 143, uh, even better. And then he's got his heavy uh, Neurogic runners, these guys with their, like, weird gauntlets. Uh, 111 kills, 186 here, actually. They did just pretty solid. His shirt and swords here, uh, best one getting 172. Uh, they did pretty solid, to be fair. So, yeah, well done to uh, him. And then you've got uh, Dodgy Gob here, who was playing as the Sassanids. Dodgy, by the way, has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Definitely go and check out him. Does some really good Rome 2 uh, content as well. Or 
lots of Total War, but mainly Rome 2. So definitely go and check him out. Um, yeah, he's playing as Assassinids with all his elephants. 580 kills with his Indian Armoured War Elephants. That's his general unit. 300 with this one. Uh, 474, 527. Some really good kills. All doing really, really well. And then his uh, cataphracts did okay. 147, 101. Nothing like amazing compared to the elephants, but they did pretty solid. Um, I think the, uh, uh, the cataphracts can be a bit more useful over on the far side. Um, like where the uh, like actual fighting was going on. Because these guys have got a lot more kills with hammer and anvils. Um, or like they could have hammer and anvil when the elephants were engaging um, the Seleucids from the front possibly. But then we also got Gas Leak here who was playing as Rome. He actually brought two elephant units, 229 and 222. Some solid kills there with his elephants which aren't even, like as well armoured but they did pretty solid. His uh, cavalry is Praetorians getting 184 kills. Pr really good there. His Praetorians 216 um, like kills the best one. And his uh, war dogs getting uh, 66 kills. So uh, nothing amazing there, but they did pretty solid. So yeah, well done to all the uh, defenders. Uh, they did a really good job. And then we have the attackers, or like the so-called attackers. We have uh, Alpha Bur uh, Boricua playing as a uh, Kush, who was... Uh, yeah, I mean, his Kushite archers did okay, 134. His disciples of Atapan and Mac actually getting 265 kills, some really good kills there on uh, El the Alolai. Then his uh, Shoto warriors like get nothing like near what they can possibly get. 146, the best one here. His armor show tells getting 290, still doing pretty solid, um, even though they got like overwhelmed. And his pikes only getting 20 uh, odd kills. And then we have uh, Fisher Mance, uh, Fa uh, Fisher Mance Faz, who was playing as uh, who's playing as Lucids. Uh, his cavalry like that came to the aid of Kush. Only getting like 60 kills. His archers, I thought they were doing quite well, but actually did not get many kills. I think they were focusing down on elephants, which is why they got so few kills. His uh, spears getting like no kills here. His pikes as well getting nothing. I mean, I look at this 588, I just realized like Seleucus just did nothing. Did like no damage at all. Like 588 is nearly the same size as like Dodge's army. And Dodge took out uh, an army and a half really on his own. And then we've got um, MC Kelvis here who's playing his... Uh, as Nervii, he got 187 kills with his O Sworn General. His Noble Horse did quite well, getting 193 kills. His Archer is 109. His uh, O Sworn getting 179 down here. I think the best one, I think his General technically was then the best O Sworn. Yeah, the best one. He spammed out all these O Sworn. And best one was his General. Then we got Breeze, who was playing his Gallic Rome. 192 kills with his General, with his Gaelic, Balic, uh, Gaelic Imperial Bodyguard. Uh, his uh, Equites Scutiari. 210 kills did really well. This is nasty cavalry. They did really well. His uh, Bear Lake Swing is 116 kills. His uh, Heavy Gallic Skirmish is 151 kills. And his uh, Gallic Imperial Guard, which he spammed out uh, all the way down here. Getting 205, the best one. And then 195 is pretty solid as well. These three here did not do well at all. And then his Longsword Cohort, as you can see, uh, did like no damage to those elephants at the end. His Pikes only getting 29 kills. But again, I think that was mainly elephants. So they did quite well if you kind of take look at it like that. But anyway, guys, there you go. That is the Siege Battle. It was a quite a quick one, but it's a really, run, really, really fun one to watch. No rules is clearly quite a uh, fun way to play. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to try and uh, play a few no rules battles myself. Uh, certainly Sieges and maybe do some Sallies or... You get some just interesting army comps then if you do no rules. But anyway, if you enjoyed this one, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.